Hey guys, so I want to apologize for the long-awaited content. I know you guys have been waiting quite a long time for me to release a new video, but I've been super busy with work and everything else in between, so I haven't really had much time to really do anything. Um, here recently I have got a bunch of parts and stuff for the truck, so I've been slowly kind of working on it. Um, I finally got all the stuff out of the bed of the truck. Cleaned it out, finally got the tailgate open, that was stuck closed. Um, I'm going to be getting rid of this bed liner and uh, cleaning that out, and I'm probably going to do a spray in or something eventually. Uh, one thing I have figured out is the, uh, the drive shaft issue. Um, I'm actually taking that aluminum drive shaft that I showed you all in previous videos, which I have it in the back of the truck here. I'm going to take it to work tomorrow. Um, but I'm going to take that drive shaft and I used that Explorer drive shaft I had for the black truck and I took the yoke off of it and I'm going to use um, that yoke on that aluminum drive shaft and it should work perfectly. Um, they all take the same U-joint which is kind of awesome. But the U-joint number is 354 for anybody that's wondering. Um, but it should mate right up to the Explorer yoke. Um, I have got the starter and stuff put in the truck. Uh, I had I'm actually took the 3.0 harness for the starter and everything because it would be a lot easier just to modify the uh, 3.0 harness to work than to try to configure everything else in because the fuse box and everything's different and blah 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 so it'd just be a lot easier to use the 3.0 harness and just extend a couple wires so I'm going to splice in the starter cable and the wire that runs to the starter solenoid so that shouldn't be a problem there. Um, let's see what else I'm done. For the power steering, I'm actually going to use the Explorer power steering line. And I don't know if anybody knows, but up here under the rack, the power steering line, the way it connects to the rack is actually different. It uses a quick connect. So I'm just going to cut both of those lines towards the bottom where it connects to the steering rack. And I'm gonna use this compression fitting. I got it at O'Reilly's. It is a 3 8 compression fitting. And this is the part number, 162600. And I'm just gonna mate the two lines together and custom make my own power steering hose so that way I don't have to change out the rack or anything like that. So it should make it 10 times easier. Um, I did get my throttle cable installed finally. I found a donor explorer that my buddy had and robbed the uh, power steering, or not the power steering, the uh, throttle cable off of it. I also have my cruise control set up, which the only thing you have to change out is the, uh, the cable that goes to the top of the uh, cruise control. I didn't actually have to change out the whole module. So just change out the top cable, goes right to your throttle body like normal. And that's really all you have to do. Um, but after I put all that together and put my drive shaft in, all I should have to do is get a battery. And hopefully this thing will fire right up. Um, I may have to, which luckily I work for Ford, so I could take care of that problem. But I may have to find a way to get around Pat's. I'm not sure yet. I'm sure I'm going to have some issues with it. If all else fails, I'll just get with a, a tuner or just do it myself and get my own software and do it through a SCT and you can actually have the PATS uh, tuned off with SCT so you don't even have to have PATS. Um, and for those of you that don't know what PATS is, it's the passive anti-theft that keeps it from starting if you put like the wrong key in. So hopefully I can get that taken care of if it does give me a problem. 
so I will let you guys know whenever I try to fire this thing up if I run into any issues. But all the issues I mentioned in previous videos I pretty much have worked out and I should have it put together in no time. So I appreciate you guys watching. Um, yeah, in the meantime, I have been working on this, which is my new toy. It is a uh, 2002 Harley Davidson F-150 with the uh, supercharged 5.4, and I absolutely love this truck. It runs good. It sounds good. I love it. It's just a great truck. Um, it pretty much has the same motor as the, uh, the Lightnings with just a different upper supercharger pulley which is like a pound or two pounds difference which is not really a big deal but I'm gonna change out the pulleys on it and make it run faster so this should be about it for the uh, Ranger video so if you guys could uh, please like subscribe and comment thanks for watching